Why do good-looking girls have to be so stuck on themselves? I am not stuck on myself. Let me pick you up some night after Benson brings you home. Come on, Madge. Oh, Bomber, will you let Madge, me alone? Come on, Madge. Give a guy oh, a break. Bomber. Give a guy a break. On your way, lover boy. Who are you? What's that matter? I'm bigger than you are. Hey, I'm late on my rock. Yeah. Go on, go peddle your papers. Yeah. Huh. Drop dead. Hi. Hi. Uh -huh. Hey, you working for Mrs. Potts? Doing a few odd jobs in the yard. Uh, she give you breakfast? Really, stop it. I need you girls to help me with the picnic sandwiches, so. Is there something you want, young man? Just loafing, ma'am. This is a busy day for us. We have no time to loaf. Are you the, uh. mother? Yes. Come on, Millie. Madge. Madge. Yes. Come here. Ah, kid, I'll show you a step I learned in LA. Now watch this. First, you gotta set the rhythm. I wish I could do it. They graceful. You used to dance like that, Flo.
can't you dance that way? Well, golly, honey, I'm a businessman. Madge, I'm going to toss him off. You don't know what you're doing, you can't. I'm going, Mom. Listen to me. Put down that bag. Listen to what I've got to say. There's a bus coming by. I've got to hurry. He's no good. He'll never be able to support you. And when he does have a job, he'll, he'll spend it all on drink. And after that, there'll be other women. I know. Mom, you don't love someone because he's perfect. Let's, let's just think about it a few days. Madge. Goodbye, Mrs. Potts. I'll miss you almost as much as Mom. Madge, look. You've got to be here for the festival. It's your duty. Alan's going to take you. But I don't love Alan, Mom. Oh, don't worry about me. Oh, Madge. My little girl. My baby. But there are so many things I meant to tell her. I never got around to it. Let her learn them for herself, Flo. There have been. I wouldn't know. Can't you give me a rough estimate? Not without an adding machine. Do you have your adding machine with you? I forgot to bring it. Uh, then I guess you won't find out, will you? <sighs> Maybe I already know. What's the matter? What are you hinting at? Why? Is there something to hint at? Maybe there's been a long line of beach parties. You must be crazy. Am I? What about when you and Holmes were back at Fort Bliss? Did you ever hear of a soldier named Stark? Malin Stark? Why, yes. Why, yes. You knew him too, didn't you? Didn't you? I had to go and forget you were like all the rest of them. Only it's true, ain't it? Well, ain't it? Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the story. There's always a story. You don't leave a person anything, do you? <laughs> Come back here, Sergeant. I'll tell you the story. You can take it back to the barracks with you. I'd only been married to Dana two years when I found out he was cheating. By that time, I was pregnant. I thought I had something to hope for. I was almost happy the night the pains began. I remember Dana was going to an officer's conference. I told him to get home early to bring the doctor with him, and maybe he would have if his conference hadn't been with a hat-check girl. 
He was drunk when he came in at 5 a.m. I was lying on the floor. I begged him to go for the doctor, but he fell on the couch and passed out. The baby was born about an hour later. Of course, it was dead. It was a boy. But they worked over me at the hospital. They fixed me up fine. They even took my appendix out. They threw that in free. Karen. And one more thing. No more children. Sure, I went out with men after that. And if I'd ever found one that... Karen, listen to me. Listen. I know. Until I met you, I didn't think it was possible either. Thank you.